Hello everyone. In the last two videos, we have seen the mathematical analysis of non-recursive algorithm. It is very simple, and I have just taken few examples, and I have just showed you. In today's video, we are just going with mathematical analysis of recursive algorithms. What do you mean by recursive algorithm? Recursive algorithm means the algorithm which calls by itself. Means recursively, it will be calling the same function. See, for example, I'll just write void. add and inside this function i'll just declare something a comma b then i'll call this function once again okay so here recursively this add function is calling itself inside the function this kind of algorithms are called as recursive algorithms okay so here for this recursive algorithms the main thing mathematical analysis for recursive and non recursive is similar all the steps are same but here one thing we have to just know is here you have to just find out the general method or general condition if we find out general condition then the 50% of the work is done in mathematical analysis with the general condition we have to start solving for the time okay so here before going to this when we have to take a example of some algorithm and then we have to see this i'll just take a example to compute the factorial of n numbers and i'll just show you how to calculate the mathematical analysis for computing the factorial of n numbers so this is the algorithm to compute factorial of n numbers as you all know zero factorial is equal to 1 so i have just taken if n is equals to 0 then you have to return 1 else then i i'm just calling this function repeatedly that is recursive so f of n minus 1 is a function which will be called recursively f of n minus 1 into n i'll just show you how this function is just going to work we'll see how this is going to work before that you all know you zero factorial is what zero factorial is equal to 1 then one factorial is equal to 1 then two factorial is what 2 into 1 that is equal to 2 three factorial is what 3 into 2 into 1 that is 6 then four factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is 24 this is how if we just keep on doing then n factorial will be equal to n minus 1 into n okay so this is how we'll do you can just ask me how this one yes i'll just explain you how this is coming yes so here first zero factorial is equals to 1 this is the basic function so need not to calculate that one so you have to calculate from one factorial for this one f of n is equals to n minus 1 into n i'll just take now i'm just doing for n is equals to 1 n is equals to 1 one means f of 1 is equals to n minus 1 that is n is what 1 1 minus 1 is 0 that is this one is f of n minus 1 because this is a recursive function f of 0 into 1 already we know f of 0 that is 0 factorial is equals to 1 so 1 into 1 is equals to 1 so what is the value of f of 1 it is 1 that is 1 factorial equal to 1 in the same way i have to calculate for f of 2 now f of 2 so f of n minus 1 what is the value of n 2 2 minus 1 is 1 into n value is 2 what is f of 1 just now we have calculated 1 1 into 2 is equals to 2 f of 2 value is what 2 so here 2 factorial is equals to 2 next f of 3 yes we have to calculate f of 3 f of n minus 1 3 minus 1 that is f of 2 into n value is what 3 f of 2 value is what just now we have calculated 2 2 into 3 is equals to 6 what is 2 factorial sorry 3 factorial it is 6 so we got 6 over here next f of 
f of 4 that is f of n minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 f of 3 into value of n is 4 yes so what is f of 3 6 6 into 4 is equals to 24 this is how the algorithm uh, means for uh, calculating the factorial is working repeatedly i'm calling see f of 0 f of 1 f of 2 f of 3 the same factorial function repeatedly i'm calling so this is called as the recursive function okay so like this till n we can just calculate for all the things you'll just get the proper value now you know how the algorithm is working here now you have to just write the general plan or the general condition yes so here i'll just take f of n as a function okay here we'll be just having the two things first is the initial condition and the main condition yes always we know initial condition if n is equals to 0 it should be equal to 1 because 0 factorial is equal to 1 so 1 if n is equals to 0 yes this is the initial condition next with respect to the function here f of n minus 1 into n this n will consider it as a constant so we cannot just consider that one always i have to just take a function f of n minus 1 and the basic operation yes plus 1 why i'm taking this as 1 means in each and every step i'm just considering only one number that is n is equals to 1 n is equals to 2 n is equals to 3 like that till n i'm just taking so the basic operation should be equal to n if the value of n is greater than 0 value of n is 0 means f of 0 that is equal to 1 that is the initial condition if n is greater than 0 if n is equal to either 1 2 3 or 4 means by using this formula we are calculating okay that means you are calling the factorial function repeatedly with respect to the basic operation so this is the general plan of this factorial this is very 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 important if you don't know how to write the general plan then you cannot compute the mathematical analysis for any of the recursive algorithms in order to write the general plan you must know the working of the algorithm problem statement you have to understand and then you have to just understand how the algorithm is working if you know that then it is easy to write the general plan now we are done with the general plan next i'll just go for calculating the mathematical analysis or computing the mathematical analysis for this factorial algorithm okay initially what we have f of n is equals to i'll not take the initial condition i'll just go with the with this condition f of n is equals to f of n minus plus 1 with respect to this one i'll be just calculating the mathematical analysis or computing the mathematical analysis so here the first thing you have to remember is f of n minus 1 this is the function and this is constant you have is it not we need not to worry about the constant we have to worry about the function okay so here this is the function inside the function but what is the parameter we have n minus 1 in each and every step where you encounter n then we have to replace that n with n minus 1 okay always inside the function what parameter you have then with that you have to replace in each and every step if you have n by 2 then each and every step n has to be replaced by n by 2 if you have n each and every step you have to replace with n if you have n minus 2 then each and every step you have to replace with n minus 2 so like that whatever the thing you have inside the function with this you have to replace in each and every step so here in this one we have f of n minus 1 is it not so now what we have to replace n by n minus 1 replace n by n minus 1 in each and every step i have to replace n by n minus 1 first step i'll consider replace n by n minus 1 so here n is there I'll replace n by n minus 1. So I'm calculating f of n minus 1. So here f of n minus 1 minus 1. 
so n i'm replacing with n minus 1 so n minus 1 this minus 1 i have just keep it as it is and then whenever you encounter the function then it has to be replaced with this whole thing each and every time you encounter this function then you have to replace with whole thing so here i am encountering the function f of n minus 1 okay here this is two parts this is function and this is constant okay first i am just dealing with only function not with the constant encounter function then the whole thing has to be replaced this you have to keep it in mind f of n minus 1 and at the same time you have to replace n by n minus 1 i am replacing n by n minus 1 minus 1 i am keeping as it is plus this one because i have to replace with entire thing now i am done with function i will go to the constant okay now this is function part i have to keep the constant as it is okay i'm repeating whenever you encounter function then it has to be replaced with the entire thing then only i'm just going for this constant here two parts one is function and another another one is the constant if you encounter function the entire thing has to be replaced and then i have to just keep the constant as it is so this one i can just write it as f of n minus 2 plus 1 plus 1 yes so i can just write it as plus 1 plus 1 as 2 f of n minus 2 plus 2 next once again i have to just go till f of n so i'll be just going once again replace with replace n by n minus 1 here this will become n minus 2 here we have n minus 2 plus 2 is it not now here this is function this is constant first i'll deal with only function f of n minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 this one initial thing i have to write plus this constant 2 i'll just write as it is this one will become f of n minus 3 plus 3 okay next once again i'll just take f of n minus 3 because n minus 1 minus 2 that will become minus 3 f of n minus 3 this one i'm considering f of n minus 3 that is f of n minus 1 minus 3 plus 1 because the initial thing i have to consider yes this initial thing i have to consider plus the constant here is 3 so this one will become f of n minus 4 plus 4 yes if i'm just keep on writing this one like this then what i'll get I can just write f of n is equals to see here I can just take m of sorry f of this n I'll keep as it is minus you can just see n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 n minus 4 that is like 1 2 3 4 if you keep on continuing 5 6 7 8 9 till n you will get so i can just write all these 1 2 3 4 uh, in common as f of n minus n even the constants also see 1 2 3 4 then it will also go as 5 6 7 8 till n so i can just write this also as n f of n minus n plus n so this one i can write it as f of 0 plus n what is f of 0 that is initial value in general plan we have written n is equals to 0 yes f of 0 n is equals to 0 means it is 1 so i can just write it as 1 plus n f of n is equals to 1 plus n yes so here 1 is constant and n is the asymptotic notation we have so here n is the asymptotic notation that means it will just take n number of times to compute this one but what is the case 
asymptotic notation which one i have to just write whether it is theta o or omega whether it is average case best case or worst case here in this one also continuously we are just computing the numbers here it is not like it is present in the first in the last or the middle is it not so we cannot just consider that so always it comes under the average case i can just write f of n belongs to theta of n so this is the mathematical analysis for computing the factorial of n numbers f of n belongs to theta of n so this is how i'll just compute this this is the mathematical analysis for recursive algorithms in the next video i'll take one more very important that is tower of honai next video we'll see that one okay thank you